In the top right corner, we have Z. We have Zerg for QQ. Oh, what the fudge? Hold on a second. Any interesting? Okay, okay, okay. I was wondering what was happening. All right. In the top left, we have the orange Zerg. It's QQ. And in the top right, we also have the purple Zerg. It is Tony. 1994. Starting right off, we do have QQ scouting in the right direction. Q is definitely going to be scouting out and seeing if there's going to be any potential early aggression by Tony when Tony is not even pushing out to scan the top left base. Where is he sending this overlord? Just sending it to have a passive stance? That's very interesting for having such a high APM. QQ running with 1200 APM at the start. What a legend. What a person of great potential here. So far, Tony, it looks like they're going to be going for, uh, ooh, wow. Solid 1.2k APM. That's, that shows some true potential right there, if you ask me. But so far, we're going to do standard, probably going to go for 11 hatchery to 11 pool, or even 11 extractor after that. Sent the 12th drone to go ahead and, ooh, wow. A little bit of lag. A little bit of lag, no big deal. A little lag wouldn't stop anyone, but... Everything's going to be okay. We're just going to keep this going along the way. We're going to keep on having QQ pushing along try to get that scout off. Overlord's about to pop. Now, wow. 3,000 APM. Now, that is very interesting. <laughs> that almost seems like a hack, perhaps? But we don't even know. We'll see. It's any Overlord, of course, to the bottom left position as a second Overlord. Tony's first sending his Overlord now to the top left. <laughs> As learning about the game is saying that there must be something happening in the game that's making this happen or else something's kind of fishy. QQ definitely getting closer to that base. Oh, and a spawning pool coming out. Oh, not even an expansion. This could be a little bit... Oh, wow. Same thing on both sides. They're both going to be standard stuff. We're going to be going for early zergling harassment. Try to get those drones taken out. Try to go for some drone harass. Hopefully one will get ahead of the other. And we will see who is going to take this lead. It does look like that. Yeah, it does look like the Q is going to go ahead and get that little bit of economic advantage in the gas department and in the spawning pool. Gonna finish it probably about five seconds to ten seconds before Tony does. Gas is now underway for Tony. Overlord starting to go towards the top left since Tony did scout out this Overlord coming over to his top right base. Drone also coming in, possibly gonna be a. Ooh. Is he gonna go ahead and sunk in Tony? This would be an interesting cheese if he does, unless he's just gonna go ahead and scout just to see a little bit faster. Spawning pool just finishes up. Two sets of Zerglings starting to spawn. While QQ does definitely look like he's trying to go ahead and drone up still. Definitely not worried about any assault by Tony at the moment. One set of Zerglings for Q. While Tony is setting up with possibly three sets of Zerglings. The four are coming out. Definitely getting a good advantage here. Q is stopping the expansion from going off. But the Zerglings will come in and push out this drone. Tony is going to go in and get in it. If he can turn around right now. Oh, but the hatchery is going to go down. But then again, Q is definitely going to have an economic advantage. Even though there's a little bit of lag. Zerglare going up for Tony, while oh, Q doesn't even have his lair going up, and it's this could be a possible disadvantage if there's lair tech. Lair tech could go to lead into many different things, but most importantly, the spire. Spire is definitely going to be a big problem for Q if Q does not get any spore colonies up or gets a, sp uh, gets a spire up just about the same time. The lair is so much faster for purple, yes. That is true. But then again, Q is definitely going to get an economic advantage. But there's a lot of Zerglings out here. Purple is definitely in ahead in the Zergling count, for sure. Ooh, the concave is good for orange. Orange is going to go in and push back purple. 
Tony needs to pull back. Gotta get a better concave, even though Q is, has the less Zerglings. Tony did lose that engagement because of the bad concave. Orange gonna pay bait out of fight. Q's trying to push in, try to get harassed, to try to get some knowledge. Then again, Tony is definitely gonna hold this ramp. The concave was good for both sides. Hatchery up now for Tony, uh, for Q. Hatchery is about to go up now for Tony. Will there be a drone transfer? Or will there just, oh, the Spire as well is going to be going up as soon as it can. While Q is still waiting to get the Spire at the same time. Good concave for Tony. Tony's going to be pushing back Q while Q is also going to be sending in another Overlord. Two Overlords that could be potentially taken out and give Q a very, very big drop in supply. Zerg's definitely bunching out in the front of Tony's base. Main advantage is OJ's more lava. Well, I could see that Tony is definitely holding well, but the main problem is going to be the Spire. The spire is definitely going to be a big problem. Oh, and Q hasn't still. Yeah, Q still hasn't gone for a Spire. Q, is Q not expecting a Spire? What's what is going to happen? That's the problem. Is that if there's no Spire protection, like he needs to get spores up ASAP. Then again. He was also going for the spores. Oh, concave's coming in. Orange could potentially win this, but then again, drone extra drones coming to help out. Sunken creep quality gonna go down for a sunken. The spire is almost done. It's gonna be finished in about five seconds here, and then Muta shall be on the way. But there's not even enough minerals. Too worried about these drones. Too worried about these zerglings from Q. Drone does go down. Needs to get, a, get these Zerglings back into that fight if they want to go in and push and kill the Sunken. Good catch on the spawn of these Lings. Q is deciding to target the Hatchery, but then it goes for the Sunken. These Zerglings are also going to be attacking while they're distracted. The Sunken does get up and is going to push Q outside the base. Now that's a dilemma that Q is definitely going to have to deal with. He was still producing Zerglings. Spire is definitely not up yet for him. And Q is definitely going to be behind in Muto count if Tony decides to push forward. But look at this drone count. Drone count is about eight, nine drones. Nine drones on one side. And wow, a little bit less on the other side. The Sunkins are definitely going to go down if... Oh, 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 is it going to go down? Is it going to go down? Oh, 19 health, 10 health, 5 health. One more hit, 2 health and saves the day. This Sunken is definitely a survivor. GG called by Q and leaves the game. Very interesting end of this event.